Hey everyone, welcome to Scarby Charmer. Once again, my name is Chris. This is going to be a two part review and review. Uh, two albums by the same band, a band that I greatly admire and adore. Um, a great band from the 90s, pretty much forgotten about nowadays, but a band that I really like and uh, I think you should all you know, listen to. This is Emma's Goldfish. And, um, this album is Before You Better. It was released in 1987 on Moonsky. Um, my one is uh, Moonsky Europe, of course. <clears throat> it's got 12 songs on it. The song is great. Um, I really enjoy this album and I really can't express to you how, much, how good these guys are. Um, they're a ska punk band or a third wave band, more of a ska punk band. In the vein of um, a lot of people describe them and say that they're like less than Jake. Well, I, I, I have to differ with that because I think these guys are better than less than Jake. And that's a big statement to make. These guys were better than less than Jake. They had a funky sound section, a really kick ass sound section, a really, was really tight and sounded awesome. The singer, Brian Diaz, has an, well, had an amazing voice and really a much better voice than the guy from uh, you know Mess and Jake. The song um more finely crafted. Uh, they sound better. Okay, I mean Hans actually got an uh, um the vocalist Brian D has his playing I have sax as well as singing. And they got a trumpet player off space through the horn. They have another trumpet player who's credited doing all solos. And they have um, a trombone player as well, so I mean that's for you know for piece horn section, and that's quite it was quite rare for back then for a, a ska punk band at least. I mean they were really a really great band. And some really awesome songs. Um, the guy's vocal range was unbelievable. I mean you hear me talking earlier. I mean in a previous video about. Catch 22 and how their singer was quite bad, and, and he would go over in his vocal register and, and mess, it, it mess things up by not being a good singer. And this guy is a really good singer, and he can really bust the songs out. I mean, every one of these songs is amazing. Um, and your density, um, eventually, anyway, I mean, they're just brilliant. Sunrise to Sunset, which is like the one, you know, slow and lower, they slow it down, and it's amazing. Um, the guy's got such an amazing voice too, and it's got a, it's got emotional content to it. I mean, I'm not saying it's emo. I'm saying it's emotional. It's from the heart, and they and they say it, and now they're singing about things that are interesting to them. And it's but it also has got this really cool horn section, which just kills, and they're really great songs, well crafted, well written songs, far far superior. The less than JK challenge anyone to listen to uh, listen to Edna's Gold Edna's Goldfish. And I challenge anyone who listen to to these two albums that I'm gonna be reviewing and just say, Oh, I still prefer you know, less than JK it's not gonna happen because this band is better. It's just my opinion and I, I you know, I will say that yeah, it is just my opinion that these guys are better and this album is definitely a five out of five for me without question. Fucking brilliant. Okay? Take it from me this band. It's awesome. Um, you know, great cover as well. Well, it's a cover. Um, look, I don't mean to be swirling a couple of people's heads by saying that you know, this band was better than Messenger. Um, I, but I personally, that's my personal opinion. Um, I've been in these guys as long as in, as long as you know Messenger. So I've liked Edmund Goldfish for the same amount of time. You know, I both got, I both got into both bands in the late nineties, and I I liked each band for the same amount of time, and I personally prefer this band. And it's not, you know, an insult to the other bands. You know, I'm okay. I'm just I really prefer the, these guys. I think they were really great, and I can for the life of me understand why they then becomes you know more successful than Les and Jake. Why how come these guys didn't make it? They're fucking great. They're really good. I mean, 
this is amazing this all of it it's really good and i suggest you all check it out i'll go to the back of it the back cover of the album it's got a picture of a kid on it most guy europe logo remember if you buy in america you won't have a logo but most guy in the new york and i see whatever um the inner liner notes You have the credits in the back, almost all over. It's all the good stuff you need to know. And then on the inner end, you just have the yeah, reprinted lyrics. And lyrics are a good thing to have, especially with spam, because you do have something to read. Yeah, they say some cool things. And then you got your picture in the back, and then quite the typical third look of a third wave scar kind of not either. You know. Um, I really enjoy this album. Um, honestly, definitely a five out of five for me, without question. And I really, I, I, I'm not over playing this and saying it's better than it was. It honestly is this good. And I mean, if you've been, if you enjoy watching my videos and you want to for a while, you know, and you have any amount of respect for my opinion, please check these guys out. And listen to as much as you can because they were fucking amazing. Okay, I'll be right back with you shortly with you in the Elements of Transition, which is the other album they have on Moonscap. But for now, um, that's it. Um, I mean, Chris has been a scar of your channel. Please rate the comment and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. Um, don't downgrade me just because I'm this in. Um, Let's enjoy it. Hello, Let's enjoy they're a great band, I'm just saying I prefer these guys, okay? And that's just my personal opinion, and it does nothing to do with um, anything else, okay? So, um, thanks ever so much for watching. Cheers. Thank you.